Shadows you've heard, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today, I wanted to continue our way north. There are three different areas I want to continue exploring through and trying to find more geoglyphs, maybe even find some Skyview Towers to really explore these areas. I think that, you know, obviously there is this I need to work on, which is something I want to save until we get all the memory. So I think we'll probably go up to the Isisim Shrine and look around here. I don't know exactly where the tower is. It's sort of hard to tell from here. So maybe before we get to all that, I'll try to, I don't know how to get out of here. <laughs> I might just want to do that. Oh no, okay, I can sort of walk through this one. I thought I would sink. Uh, I might sink. <laughs> we might just go to a different shrine so we can get out of here and work our way to a tower though, because we're only a few of the geoglyphs away bef before we have them all. So that's definitely what I'm sort of focused on for the time being. So let's go over here to the shrine and see if we can't find the tower for our next area. Okay, so I sort of remember this. I think we need to fly up here for now. I gotta get some gear on too because it's not gonna be useful to have no gear on, I think, soon enough. So we'll get up this way. There we go. And boom, we're on the other side. So we've been here before, of course. Oh gosh, we might melt here. Is it too hot for us? No, no, we're, we're good. Uh, so let me just get my normal gear on. We got some of this upgraded last time around as well. Which way am I headed though is the big question. Heading a little bit over here. Okay, so we explored Elden, of course, earlier in the game. It was a ton of fun. I don't think there's really too much for us to do around here specifically for right now, but as we explore around, I'm sure we'll discover more stuff. I'm just trying to find that path right there. So I think around this giant mountain, you can sort of see it right over this way. And that's all we'll just basically do is just follow down the path and hopefully run into some cool stuff. Do we have any food that would make us run faster at the moment? Uh, we do. Okay, let's get some speed up. And I can also get some extra food in us. There we go, back up the full health. Minute and a half of running a little bit faster just so that we can travel a little bit more effectively. I think that's a good idea. This is Yenoboko HQ. Hey guys, hope you're doing well. <laughs> Not gonna bother with it too much. We'll just run past because we really haven't been north of this spot, really. So this is where it's all gonna be new. Oh, I do see another one of those trees. If we put an apple there, that should be something. And that big cube in the sky is still also a mystery to me. Oh, can I get you? Can I get you? Oh, you'll get away. Of course, we're still trying to collect other materials and stuff like that, but I guess for right now, we're just heading over here. Whoa. Ooh, these are little lava rock guys. We haven't seen them in a while, right? Or have we seen them at all? Yeah, the Igneo pe Pebblets. What do I have to maybe break them? It might just be the Claymore, that's the best thing. There we go. We get some flint from that one. Get some fl flint from you. <laughs> that's one way to get it done. And I guess we're just gonna continue this way. Cause this is where we should make our way out of Elden for the most part, I think. Well, here's some more of them. Which if I could take the opportunity to beat them, I might as well. Boom. Most of the time they're just dropping flint and amber, but sometimes they drop a little bit better stuff, so always worth that chance. I guess the next time we're in Elden, I have a bunch of rocks I need to sell. Do I have a picture of you <laughs> doing your little dance? <laughs> that was really cute. Ooh, let's grab you, this little lizard. Gotcha. What's going on over here? There's another lizard. We're about to run out of our extra speed, though. Whoa, okay, these are just luminous stones. I guess they don't glow during the daytime. Okay, and back over here. Oh, who's this? Hello, We've got somebody keeping guard to Elden, it seems. Oh, and there's the tower right there, so it's really not that far off. Oh, good evening. A lava cooled and it made a passage here, but this is the first time I've seen a traveler actually use it. Nice to see someone, it's so empty out here. I get pretty lonely. If you go down the road, you'll see some big bones lying around to the north. I wouldn't recommend going alone, though. All right, big bones, huh? So north of here? I mean, we explored some of that, but I guess maybe up here or something. But that's the tower we're trying to get to today, just because that way we can clip this whole area. I do see a shrine over there. But whoa. This place seems pretty cool, especially with all these jagged rocks poking out. So this is an area we wouldn't really be able to explore because of lava before. All right, we'll lower ourselves a little bit just in case there's anything down here. Oh, I see you. That's exactly what I was a little bit worried about was you over here. Hey, so. What do we gotta do for this one? This one's really odd. And a lot of you let me know for you know some of these more difficult ones, we can always use some of the floating platforms. The problem is I just don't have too many of them. I don't think I have any at the moment. So we'll have to try to find a dispenser that gives them. For right now, we'll just have to rely on building. So I'll try to put something together that fixes that up. It might take me some time now. 
I mean, I think this would work. Let's see. Try it and go. It should just, yeah, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Seems pretty simple. Awesome. Glad that we could get that. President standing. Very nice. So yeah, you go ahead and put that together and we'll get another one of these done. I'm glad that we're making progress with it. It's always nice to see. Perfect. All right, well, got a red rupee. How are we doing in total? Almost 1,200. And um, then some food. We got the hot weather attack for the scorching meaty rice balls and a bomb flower. Cool. All right, see ya, Addison. Always good catching up with you. I wanna grab this mushroom over here because I just keep looking at it. There we go, continue down this way. Where was that tower? I'm sure if we continue down this path, we'll eventually stumble upon it. But there was also a yeah, shrine way off that way. Seems like a lot to keep up with, but we'll get it for sure. There's that tower, okay, very cool. I mean, it seems pretty simple to get to, at least compared to most of the other towers. So I'm sure there's a catch. Let's see if there's like floating platforms. Oh, maybe we have to get to the top of it for some reason. Whoa, okay, are you riding a bear? You're riding a honey boar bear, whoa! That's crazy! Okay, this might be a scary fight. No, 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 hide, hide, hide. This is not good, they've already spotted me. Okay, you know what? Let's do something maybe a little bit more of a sure shot than that. Let's just throw the dazzle fruit. Ow! Okay, dude, <laughs> try that again. Did that work? Ooh, got you knocked off. Now we go. Ooh, I need to change weapons, I think. Okay, maybe not. Is the bear gonna attack us too? I didn't wanna bother the bear, just you. There we go, we can damage you down a little bit. I just hope that the bear leaves us alone. Um, here, let's get over then. Ready, boom, big headshot right there. Come on, I'm gonna give you some problems here. Keep attacking, keep attacking. Oh man, can't believe they were on a bear though, that's so crazy. No, no, no. Here we go, I'm just gonna throw another one if the game would let me. There we go, you're stunned, you dropped your weapon, so here's our chance just to knock you out, no problem. Is the bear, oh the bear is still fighting us. Where's the bear? Uh, I don't know. I guess the bear ran? I heard the bear scream and I got really scared, but now it's gone. Who knows? Okay, well that was definitely an interesting situation. Oh no, I guess it's nighttime, so gotta deal with, ow, this now, everybody beating me up. Give me a chance here. There we go, okay, ready? Jab that one and jab that one. There we go. At least that's dealt with. <laughs> so ridiculous. I think I saw, oh, there's a rocket up there. Okay. We're getting closer to this tower. It looks like we could steal this and ride that around. Do we have pictures of these, yep, these mountain bucks? We do. Hmm, I'll, I'll rebuild that later. Oh no. No, you didn't see anything. I need to replenish here a little bit because we're definitely hurting. I got a lot of food though, so I might just wanna do fried wild greens. Maybe a little bit of seared steak. That should get me back up to speed, right? I would hope so. Oh, okay. One more time, got rid of them. Their friend is coming up. And I might just wanna try to jab them as much as possible, just like that, run, run, run. We're trying to get them. And then, you know, Bo helping out too, that's great, thank you buddy. I'm just gonna keep jabbing. <laughs> if it works, then I'm happy. Oh, okay, I got it, I got it. I was waiting for that attack. Luckily, I took the opportunity. We're going in, hitting you so fast. That was amazing. Awesome, so we got the Typhlo Ruins here at the Great Hyrule Forest. Whoa, that's pretty good to know. We'll grab some also some roasted bass there. And, oh, here it is. I was looking for the uh, other Lazatha stuff. Huh, so this might be an interesting thing to figure out. Let's try to get over here. I don't see any other enemies. Oh, this is more of that mud though. So let's just try not to get gunked up in any of that because we just sink right to the bottom. What's going on with this thing then? I heard a drum, I think. Was that just part of the music or is there somebody in the distance playing drums? I don't know. Uh. What is all this? So odd. Uh, I mean, we'll head over here for now and just try to climb the tower. Maybe it'll be as easy as that. Oh, there's somebody over here. Hold on. Hey, over here. Hi. Hey. Hello, my brother in research. I was waiting for you. You were? Ah. That's right. 
I'm the one who discovered these big ruins way out here, but I wasn't able to make much progress in investigating them. I'm only one Hylian, and this, alas, is not a one Hylian job. That's why I wrote the, the Zonai survey, or I wrote to the Zonai survey team asking them to dispatch a researcher to assist me. Yeah. And here you are, practically right after I sent my letter. Great response time. Hey. What? You're not a Zonai survey team researcher? You're just some guy? I see. Aww. So few people come through here, I assumed you had to be the assistant I asked for. My mistake. For all the trouble I've gone to, can't they send one assistant to help me with my monolith research? Monolith research? Whoops, did you hear that? Sorry, scrub that from your brain. It's not meant to be public knowledge. Mm. If you were from the Zonai survey team, I could tell you all about what I've discovered so far, but you're not, so let me help. We might not be a researcher, but we're friends with all of them. Hmm, I appreciate the offer, but that's not really not allowed. And again, Though he may not be a researcher, he does have the look of an adventurer about him. Maybe his expertise will get things back on track. Oh. You know what? You're hired. For this project alone, I'm appointing you as my research assistant. Come on, let's find out what secrets these ruins are hiding. Cool. Ah. Well then, we can dive right in. I'll start by showing you what my research has uncovered so far. Wait here. Interesting. Oof. You okay? Whoa! Mm. Take a look. I think you'll be pretty surprised by this discovery. Investigate the Typhlo Ruins. Kazul of the Zonai survey team is looking into monoliths at the Typhlo Ruins. You should see what is written there. I definitely will. So let's read these a little bit. We'll start from left to right, I guess. Uh, display the power of the Sage of Wind to the owl protected by many dragons. Oh. Eh? Eh? Aren't you surprised? Yeah, wow. Mm. Right? Right? Oh. The Zonai were an ancient civilization with their own system of writing. Almost no one living today can read Zonai script. But you can read the inscription on that monolith, right? That's because it's written in Hyrulean. Mm. Though these ruins appear to be Zonai in origin, they feature text written in modern Hyrulean. How could that be? Who built these ruins and for what purpose? Ah. This is just a possibility, but the monoliths that were found might be pointing to a spot somewhere in the ruins. You and me, we're going to get to the bottom of this. I need you to find that spot. There, we may find yet another monolith that tells us why these ruins were built. <laughs> it's just a hunch, but it's also your boss's hunch, so... The Owl Protected by the Dragon. So we get like a little side quest based off of this one. Investigate the thigh flow. Is it thigh flow or tie flow? I think it's thigh flow, but that's significantly harder to pronounce. You read mysterious instructions on a monolith discovered by Kazul of the Zonai survey team. Search the thigh flow ruins and find the place mentioned in the riddle. And then of course, the Owl Protected by the Dragons. The Zonai researcher Kazul found the monolith inscribed with the following. Display the power of the Sage of Wind to the Owl Protected by many dragons. Try investigating Gating Thyphlo ruins and find the place described by the monolith. So I don't know if we should read these other ones or just sort of get started with that. If I talk to you again, mm. though these ruins appear to be Zonai in origin, they feature text written in modern Hyrulean. How could that be? Who built these ruins and for what purpose? If there are any monoliths you haven't investigated, don't be shy, assistant. Get close and take a good look. I will. But the first thing I'm really, really curious about is what's going on here at the Thyphlo ruins Skyview Tower at Great Hyrule Forest. If there is somebody here, it isn't working. Hmm? Is that you? You're out and about late tonight. Sorry, this Skyview Tower is out of order and maintenance is proving tricky. What's wrong? Oh. Well, the terminal that starts up the Skyview Tower isn't working. I've checked all the terminal parts and nothing looks broken. Oh. I wonder if something to do with the tower itself is broken. I wonder. So, maybe we could get to the top of the tower at some point? I don't think I could just ascend up it, unfortunately. So, we'll have to figure that out too. We have a whole list of things to get to today. So we should probably just continue to read the rest of these and then we'll explore this whole island to see if we can't find these different statues. Display the power of the Sage of Fire to blaze through the space between two dragons from head to tail. Huh, two dragons. That description reminds me of something I saw when I first arrived at these ruins. The corridor between two dragons. I've not really seen any dragons, but maybe if we saw this from above, it'd make more sense. The Zonai survey team member Kazul found a monolith inscribed with the following. 
which we just read, try and investigate Thyphoi ruins to find the place described on the monolith. Okay, well, let's try out this third one. Display the power of the Sage of Water in the presence of six dragons. Mm. There was a small ring of dragon head statues somewhere, wasn't there? Ominous place. Where was that again? So it's all gonna be on this island. That's the six dragons. And then same deal with that one. Um, we have to try investigating the Thyphoi ruins. They all sort of say the same things we just tried. Display the power of the Sage of Lightning at the end of the long dragon that protects the Mountain of Death. Whoa. Hmm, there are a lot of dragon statues, but we're looking for one with a long body, it sounds like. What's with that Mountain of Death part? It's, that's troubling. Well, of course, Death Mountain is right over that way, the long dragon. So I guess we'll work on all of those now. Seems like we're gonna be pretty darn busy. So where are these dragons? If I were to climb up here, I think I might already see what it's sort of talking about, is this stone thing sort of looks like the body of a dragon. But it's really hard to confirm, at least from here. So, oh, I do see a robot up there. We'll definitely have to use those to climb up the tower at some point. But maybe we should focus on this for a bit. And are these, you know, different towers that we're standing on, are they supposed to represent dragons too? I mean, I do see this. This looks like an owl to me. If we go back to the missions, adventure log, there was the, uh, where is it? The owl protected by the dragons. Display the power of the Sage of Wind to the owl protected by the dragons. Let's try this one then. Would that work? I think it might've just worked. So that one was pretty simple, but if we get it done, that's fantastic. Whoa, so we're gonna get a treasure chest from this one. Awesome. What's going to be in there? Let's find out. I'm gonna open this up. And inside, we got three sapphires. Not a bad prize. So the owl protected by the dragons is complete. Display the power of the Sage of Wind, the owl protected by many dragons. You found the hidden treasure at the location hinted at by the monolith. So that's one of them done. Let's work on some of the others then. Which if we go back up here, there was the six dragons, display the, the Sage of Water, the long dragon. This one might be the next one worth focusing on because it's protecting the tower, or the Mountain of Death, which of course, Death Mountain, right over this way. So I guess we should try to figure this out. Hmm. We take another look at it, just to be extra sure. Uh, at the end of the long dragon, It's so hard to say, because like I think this, that's what all these different towers are supposed to be representing. But it always seems to be, here we go, on one of these little panels. So I guess at the least we could do some guesswork, but where's Yonobo? The specific guy I was looking for, there you are, buddy. Hey, can you come here? Oh, there's a little Korok over there too. So let's do this for now. And then I'll back up and try to send it down this way. I think this is what we're looking for. Let's see. Maybe not. I'm a little confused, Ed. Um, definitely not you, but we'll try doing this too. Nope. Okay, so I'm pretty certain it was Yonobo that we needed. Yeah, it's not gonna do much here. Let's try this again. Boom. <laughs> Knocked a tree over. I think it's Yonobo. I mean, I'll, I'll try to look around if it's not. Um, but no, it's at Sage of Lightning, so I don't know why I thought it was Sage of Fire. Uh, huh. I just don't know what we'd want to zap. So maybe that's not the spot we're supposed to be standing in. Well, let's follow this thing, because obviously it's some kind of long dragon, right? I need to reach my friend. I know about you. All right, let's just mark this on our map then. Really quickly, we'll just put a Korok Seed little stamp. And this is still, whoa. It's said by the tail of it. So obviously this is the dragon looking at Death Mountain, protecting it. It's gotta be that panel we were standing on. So the question is, what do I shoot? What do I do? Maybe I just need to actually activate the lightning thing or standing on the panel. So if you wanna come over here, that'd be great. I don't have to follow us. It doesn't, it sort of seems like they specifically avoid it. Um. Okay, that worked, whoa! I just had to actually hit the panel. 
Okay, so this will be another treasure chest for us. Glad to see it. So what quest was that then? That was, of course, the... I guess we have to open this up first. Okay, let's open it up. We'll get more sapphires, maybe more topazes. Awesome, so it looks like we're just gonna be getting some rare gems, but the long dragon was complete. So it displayed the power of the Sage of Lightning at the end of the long dragon that protects the mountain of death. You found the hidden treasure, and I clicked the wrong button. Okay, that's fine. Let's try out the next one then, which should be, what, the six dragons? I thought the corridor between dragons. Let's try this one. Display the power of the Sage of Water in the presence of six dragons. I don't exactly know where that is, but we have a lot of area to explore. So I'll just keep running around until it seems a little bit more obvious. Once again, if there's any of those panels on the floor, I think that's really a big key as well. I mean, I do see one dragon over here. Just chilling out. Not really up to much, that's okay. Hmm. Okay. What about over this way then? It's a very cool island though. It's just fun to sort of look around and explore if not anything else. Looks like there's a depth area over there. I'm not seeing too much, ooh. What about over here? There's like some dragon body that sort of goes across. Cause there's a corridor between two dragons and then in the middle of six dragons. I mean, here's one dragon there. Ooh, maybe here? This looks like something. So, uh, maybe not that. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and use you. That didn't work there. Gotta be somewhere, right? <laughs> but there's a good reason that uh, Sidon popped up next to me like that, but I don't know, maybe not. I can't even really use it over here, so. Just gotta keep looking. Okay, here's one that we Maybe haven't done? Oh yeah, corridor between two dragons, right over there. Okay, so, go back over this way. Maybe I have to look down there? Did that work? Ah, not quite. I don't know exactly where I have to hit it is the thing. Cause it seems like there's always like a, a direction I need to go with it. So maybe, there, no? That was, am I not getting it mixed up? Let's see. Oh, you know what, I am getting it mixed up. For this one I needed, Sage of Fire, okay, <laughs> sorry. So let's get Yonobo, send him down. There we go, that's gotta be it, right? There we go, so our third one done. That was fantastic, that'll raise this platform again, and with it, we'll get our third treasure chest. I have to assume that we're probably gonna get a ruby out of this one, or three rubies, so let's just open it up to find out. All right, very cool. So three rubies right there, and that will complete the corridor between the two dragons. I don't think we really need to read the description too much, but we're looking for six dragons now. I don't know where they would be, but I don't think we've run into it just yet, so if we can just keep looking around, I'm sure we'll find it eventually. Uh, this might be it. Sure looks like it, one, two, three, four, five, six. So for this one, Let's reread it just real fast so I can see. Um, the Zonai Researcher Kazul, yeah, yeah, yeah. Display the power of the Sage of Water in the presence of six dragons. I mean, their presence is right there. It doesn't seem like there's a platform to stand on, but maybe I'll just use it anyways in the center of these, these guys and see. That didn't do anything. There's gotta be a platform around here somewhere to stand on. Oh, over here? Seems a bit, okay, buddy. Watch it. Uh, seems a bit weird to do it over here, seeing how they're all over there, but if it works, I might as well try it. That didn't work. Interesting. You, I would I would like you to stop doing that. Here, you pop back up again. Oh, there's two of them? Because of course there's two of them. Is there any other platforms? Could this one be a fake or something? Because you would think it would just be here. That would make the most sense to me, but. Here, try this again then. That's definitely not doing anything. Okay. I'll go back over here and try this out. 
I just don't really see what else. I do see a chest up that way, but I can't really reach that from here. Where did my friends go? Uh, nope. Here you guys are. I'll try sending it out here. No. Maybe this just isn't it. I don't know, I'll keep looking around, I'll ch ch keep experiment experimenting with it, but I'm a little confused. Okay, that time it worked. I think I needed to do a charge attack. Gotcha. Didn't really realize, I don't know if I mentioned that at all, but we should be able to get uh, some opals from this one, I think. That'd be pretty cool. But this will be the fourth and final little mission that we had, so that's very exciting. I'm going the wrong, no, Link, come on. You sunk in the little tiniest bit. <laughs> it's not what I wanted. Okay, it's fine though. We'll, we'll, we'll get over there, grab our treasure chest, and then we'll have all four of these little different monoliths figured out. That'll be cool. So yep, open this one up. I gotta assume it's gonna be some opals. It is, okay, very cool. And with that, the six dragons is now completed. So I guess we should just go and talk to, uh, whoa, uh, that one back there is raising. Uh, is there a temple underneath? I guess so. Okay, investigate the Thai floor ruins is updated. Once you found all four stone huts hidden in the Thai floor ruins, you heard a loud sound sound from somewhere. What could have happened in the ruins? I guess we're about to go find out. That was back at, I think the one near the, the Death Mountain. But I guess we'll find out. That was so interesting. Uh, I think it was over there. So I just wanna stay on top of here if I can for a bit. Makes it easier to get around. All right. It was definitely on this other side. And maybe I should talk to them as we're passing by, but like, hey, something happened. Are they even still out here? Uh, oh yeah, they're over there. Hi. Huh? My trusty assistant, you're back. I thought I could hear a loud noise from deep within the ruins. You heard that too, right? That was unsettling. I wonder what might have caused it. Well, I'm gonna go find out. You can stay here if you want, but you might miss out on some research opportunities if you do. It's definitely this one. All right, let's go inside. I guess maybe it was its own thing. I thought it was one of the ones that gave us a chest. So this might be just deeper into the Thyphlo ruins. There's another little monolith. There was a chest over there that'll open up in a second. Hey, hey hello, are you there? I am. So this is what was waiting for us beneath the ruins. Wait, you found another monolith? If it was hidden away down here, there's almost certainly something important written upon it. Oh, my heart is pounding. Shall we read it? Dare we? We dare. Here, allow me. A monument to loyalty. Hyrule owes its peace today to the gift that King Raru gave unto us in his noble feat of imprisoning the Demon King. Wait. King Raru? Imprisoning the Demon King? Raru is named in legend as the first king of Hyrule. And this mention of imprisoning the Demon King, this monolith is no doubt a chronicle of the imprisoning war. My heart won't stop pounding. Let's read on. The great battle ended with a seal, began with support from the sages, each of whom bore a shining secret stone. Among these were four Hyruleans, loyal warriors all, who hastened to King Raru's aid as their oaths demanded. They are the pride of the peoples of Hyrule. This stone monument is dedicated to the loyalty that will echo through time. Ah, I see. In other words, this rune is dedicated to the sages who fought with Raru, the first king of Hyrule. It was built by Hylians afterward. That explains why there was Hyrulean text on the monoliths we found. <laughs> what a discovery! I'm astonished to find so profound a secret message in these long buried ruins, so full of mystery. Oh. I'll stay here for now to analyze what's written on this monolith. Once my heart rate returns to normal, I'll swing by the survey team base in Kakariko to, and turn my findings into a book. <laughs> I can't wait to see the looks on their faces. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, whoops. I completely forgot to give you a reward. I never could have solved the mysteries of the ruins without you, my assistant. You have my thanks. We get a large Zonai charge. Please, take this. We get a big battery as well, awesome. And this too, as a bonus. We get a diamond, whoa. If you come, if you came 
all this way just to see some ruins, you must be also almost as fanatical about Zonai history as I am. So please, enjoy these Zonai artifacts I discovered. Mementos to remind you of our time working together. Ah. Now, fear not. Since I'll be sticking around a while, you can come back if you'd like to talk ruins and relics. In the meantime, happy trails. Goodbye, my trusty assistant. So there we go, investigate the thigh floor ruins completed. The writing on the monolith discovered in the basement of the thigh floor ruins said the ruins were built to commemorate the king and sages who defeated or defended Hyrule from the demon king. Inspired by the monolith, Kazul of the Zonai survey team was eager to report to the division headquarters. Amazing. I'll stay here for now to analyze what's on the monolith. Okay. <laughs> Well, good luck with that. I'm super happy about it. Let's go ahead and check out what's inside of this chest before Kazul notices. We get a Dusk Claymore. What is this? A slender claymore thought to have been handed down to the kingdom of Hyrule ages ago. The blade shines with a holy luster. I've never seen this before. Whoa. Okay, so let's just go ahead and drop something. Um, I guess the royal claymore might be good on the drop. So neat. So let's pull this out. Whoa, crazy sword. I definitely want to drop it so that we can take a picture. Beautiful dust claymore right there. So glad to have that. I'm gonna feel hesitant to use it because it's so pretty, but I'll probably find something cool to combo with it. We are a little low when it comes to the silver Lysel spear, so. I guess for now that we've we've gotten that really cool side quest and we're not quite finished for today. It's raining out here, but we're gonna try to find our way up on top of this tower. And I think the best way to do that would be to use those things. You can see a couple of them around and I don't know if I'll be able to get up here very easily. I will, cool. Can I ascend on top of this? I know that there is a enemy waiting for us on top of it, so I do have to be a little bit careful. But I think we can handle it. I'm just gonna pop out here and surprise you. There you go. That worked quite well. Um, oh, I see what we do. If I attach these to the side of it, we can go up, right? Attach, and then over here, same thing. Just like that, and then I need to get a different weapon here. Let's just go ahead and get, not the gloom spear. Uh, I'll need to, there we go. We're going up! Okay, we're going way, way up. We're passing a bunch of monsters, but I think it's this thing over here that is stopping us from doing too much. So maybe I could lift that one up if I could get a little bit closer to it, that is. Oh, 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 don't fall, don't fall, no! I can't really do much. Whoa, you have a rocket arrow, so get out of here with that, please. Um, okay. So things are a little complicated here because I need to get to that. I can't really reach it from here is the problem. Um, if I could just maybe just attach one of them, would that be enough? If I just hit that and then it didn't work. Oh, okay. Did I really need two of them or maybe the angle was bad or something? Here. Do that again. Okay, oh, I couldn't still get it. Okay, um, are we gonna fall? Uh, no. <laughs> Not really the way I want. So let's just recall this, and then I need to be ready to grab this right here as soon as it gives me the opportunity. Come on, come on. Got it, sort of, for two seconds. Um. Okay, well, not really what I wanted. Didn't really help too much. Uh. I wonder what I could do instead then. I mean, I could go to this one and try to do the same thing, but again, not the best angle actually. Hi, boom, boom. Luckily these are very easy enemies to deal with. My uh, problem solving here doesn't seem to be the best, but I just gotta land on a different angle from, I, I'm just pretty sure that's the one that's blocking everything from really working the way it's supposed to. So if I could just, maybe just get back on top, stand on it and do something that might be better. Because if not, I'm sort of confused. If I had more of those floating platforms, definitely do something with it. Okay, yeah, you know what? Let's not overcomplicate it. I could just land here, get this, and then just push it out of the way. Okay, there we go. That's all I needed before. That's all I was trying for, but there we go. The tower should fix itself maybe once I step off of it. I would like to just in case. 
move this way over here. And then we will glide down. And we'll see if it works now. I really hope it does. All right, so, yeah. How in Hyrule? The terminal, it's working again, even though I didn't do anything. Well, I fixed it. There was something on top. Huh? There was something blocking the top of the Skyview Tower? Hmm. The terminal and the lid on top of the tower are connected. So the lid wouldn't work because it was blocked. I guess the terminal wouldn't work either. Well, I'm in a hurry. and Everything seems to be working properly, so I'll head out. Thank you for fixing the Skyview Tower. I'm off. All right, well, that's fantastic. So we were able to get that figured out, and now we can examine and activate the Thyflo Tower, or Thyflo Ruin Skyview Tower, that's what it is. So this is gonna be one of our last three areas we need to reveal here on the map, so exciting. And then after this, we can maybe scout out the area and try to find another geoglyph. But even if we don't, I'm pretty happy with our progress. All right, here we go. All suited up and ready to launch. So this was like, what, the Great Hyrule Forest, and it's been pretty fun to explore, mostly just the thigh full of ruins so far, but this will give us the opportunity to look around a whole lot more. Whoa, speaking of which, look at all this stuff up here. So, obviously we'll have to get busy around here. Whoa, is that a, I think there's the maze over there. I remember that from Breath of the Wild. Let's definitely scout out whatever we can, so that we can make some goals to explore some stuff later on. All right, really good. And look at that, this whole area is revealed the Great Hyrule Forest, as well as, you know, place where we can get the Master Sword. There's so much going on. Sky map updated. Okay, I do see, you can see it way down there. We're not too far off from the next geoglyph. We're at the North Hyrule Sky Archipelago, which is cool and everything. But I think if we could just fly down, just like this, maybe we can even accelerate a little bit, just until everything's a little bit more farther in view. I know that there's a couple of things going on around here. First things first is I wanna get, get that, maybe find a shrine somewhere. I'm trying to figure out like what our orientation is at the moment. Okay, I was a little turned around. So it's right there, gotcha. So somewhere around here should also be a shrine that I'll definitely wanna try to find after. Now that we're getting a little bit closer to the surface, we can see it a lot more. Okay, whoa. I wanna to get to that shrine after we get this. It's just a giant sword here. Very cool. So we'll try to explore our way up. I already see where I think the Korok scene might be. Yeah, I see the rock right there and like sort of the hilt of the sword. So this should be a pretty easy one to discover, right? We just walk up it. It's not as flat as it seemed from way up there, but that's okay. We'll explore this thing as much as we can until we find everything we're after. Which should be this Korok seed and also a memory. Okay, pick that up. Hi. I did find you. That's another Korok seed for a seven in total. We need to build up our collection. What's going on up here though? Okay. A little bit difficult, difficult to climb. I thought it'd be a little bit easier than this. It definitely looked a whole lot flatter from above. I had no idea it was such a sort of steep climb. And then I think that shrine was right down there. So that's definitely what we'll tackle after this because we definitely don't have that one. Okay. So that memory should be anywhere around you, probably at the very tippity top of it. Because of course, there it is, okay. So not the largest geoglyph, actually one of the smaller ones we've run into but we've made our way through and we can examine yet another memory. We're getting closer to having all of them, which is so exciting. Let's see what the past is going to uncover for us this time. These have just been getting better and better with each one that we find. Managed to restrain him somehow. Whoa. But 
Link, I am not sure you'll be able to stop him. Oh. I think we've been in that temple before. That's the Temple of Time, way up in the sky. That's where we sent the... Oh my gosh, I remember. This is where we sent the Master Sword to the past. So now we're seeing Zelda's perspective. I believe there is a reason you were sent to us. It has to mean something. Wow! I know why I am here. It's something only I can do. We will finally stop him. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. I'll be forever changed. An immortal dragon? Link! Find me. Wait, what? Uh, I was I was sort of lost in that last moment. What is that talking about? So I guess she did something to rekindle the Master Sword. Well, now we have to find her. Maybe after we find all the memories, something will change. Something will happen where we can actually find her. I don't know. Uh, a Master Sword in time. Here, the dragon number 11, but it's her memory number 15. As Zelda worries about the Demon King breaking free in the future, a decayed Master Sword appears before her, delivering the news to Zelda that Link is safe in her time. This helps Zelda realize the reason behind her traveling to the ancient days of Hyrule. She finally knows what she must do. We've already seen number 16, Critical Decisions. Zelda informs Minero that she has come up with a plan to restore the Master Sword by performing an act that Minero herself has said is expressly forbidden. Okay, this is all really starting to stack up then. Crazy. Aw oh, man, we still have plenty of other memories to find, but we're really starting to get there, which is so exciting. But that was one of the most exciting ones so far, just very dramatic. So yeah, a Master Sword in time. So we did a great job exploring everything so far today. I feel like if we want to finish it up with anything, it will be going over here and getting another shrine done. Man, huge story implications. But it seems like we were right, right from the beginning about the Master Sword being sent back in time with Zelda. Uh, as soon as we saw that cutscene at the very beginning of the game, it just, it all sort of started to make sense from there. And just to have those confirming details is so nice. So let's see what this shrine is going to be over here. This is the Sukuku Shrine in the Elden Mountains. Let's give it a try. All right, so the Sukuku Shrine spinning gears. Looks like, you know, we have these gears over here spinning around. And I guess we'll have to reverse it so that that falls over here. I wonder if we can just grab it though. That might be a little bit easier. <laughs> it might also not be, but I'm a little curious if I can do it that way because that's clearly not the intended way. Oh, I can. Awesome. 
Why is that so satisfying? I don't know, but we were supposed to reverse it so that the gear spins it the other direction. All right, so what's going on with this one? We're at the end already. That was interesting. But what we're missing is a treasure chest of some sort. So I guess I could rotate this and I guess put it in reverse is the idea. I don't know why this is so difficult to, maybe if I got a little bit closer. I don't know. It's, it's a little bit difficult to actually move it, but come on, come on. There we go. Okay, now I got it, now I got it. I think I was just not having a good pacing with it. it. It's really weird, I don't know why it's so. There we go, maybe if I don't move it's a little bit easier, it's hard to tell. Come on, Link, I don't know why it's doing that. So I can get up there with that, which is great, but where's the treasure chest? It's gotta be around somewhere. So I'll head up here for now. I'll sneak down this way. Uh, and we'll get this to bring us up here, if not anything else. I wonder if it's below all of that. Okay, it will very slowly, very awkwardly bring me up, but eventually we will get up here. I'm just trying to see. We're not leaving until we get that treasure chest, so it's gotta be around here somewhere. I just don't see it on this side or hidden behind anything, so it's gotta be around somewhere. I wonder, this might be silly, but I wonder if I were to do it like this instead. What if there's like a room under the gear? I don't know because this thing is so awkward. There we go. So I've done that a couple times. I can put it in reverse and see for myself. Am I just gonna fall to my doom? I don't think I am. Whoa, here we go. Seeker, a little treasure chest, awesome. That's so satisfying. We get the mighty Zonite longsword, a powerful large sword used by the Zonite and made of Zonite. Okay, cool. Happy to get that one. We definitely have to do some weapon combos soon. But in the meantime, I wanna get back up here so that we can actually figure this out and get out of here. Okay, now what I want, I wanna grab this part specifically. Oh, I gotta go, no, no, I gotta go this way now. So we just need like one or two rotations, I think, if possible. There we go. That should definitely be good enough, if I can get up here. Uh, yep, I can. So just have it reverse and we'll get up there in no time. Okay. Ready and jump, got it. All right, so a pretty quick shrine all in all. Really the tricky part was just finding the chest. Once we did that, really easy to finish this one up. All right, so we've made our way back out here to the base of the Elden Mountain, right by that geoglyph. I'm really happy with the progress that we made today. There are still geoglyphs all over Hyrule that we need to discover, but we're getting a whole lot closer with each and every one of them. I think we're gonna be going to the west next time around to explore this area and find, hopefully, yet another geoglyph. But this was an excellent step for progress with finding more of them. So we'll be back to it in the next episode trying to find more, but for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.